Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to King's Quest 3. When I last left off, we finally got a bit more information on Gwydion's backstory. He is, in fact, Alexander, the son of Graham and Valenice of Daventry, and we're going to try and get ourselves back home to save our twin sister Rosella from a three headed dragon. But we gotta actually get out of Manan's clutches first. So, I have returned to this area. And fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about going back and fixing my mistakes because I kind of already have. Okay, I just missed a couple of things on the shelves you here. The empty flask and take it with you. Such as the empty flask. You and you pick up the toadstool. And anything else I need to grab? Yes. No. Cool. In that case. I also need to grab this seawater here, because I thought I had I needed it in the flask, and it turns out. You fill the flask with ocean water from your cup. All right, there we go. So that solves that problem. And I'm gonna quickly save here. Cause we need to make some more potions over here. All right. So, now, we need to make Enhancing Musical Talent. This is a useful concoction with a more musical than magically inclined. Okay, add a handful of hot sand to a glass fat flask filled with seawater. Well, alrighty then. I have that. I have the sand. Add it to the flask. You add a handful of sand to the flask. All right, and then we uh, use the flask. Shake the. Okay, never mind. I have to add soil to that. I forgot. You shouldn't try making up. I know, I know. I shouldn't be making up my own spells. Keep mocking me, why don't you? Okay, so again, let's try this again. So you grab the sand. Put that in here. You add a handful of sand to the flask. All right. So this is the, carrying a there's the dirt. I need the dirt. No, I, uh, I did it again. <laughs> I gotta remember to use the uh, right items. I keep messing up, and I shouldn't. So, let's try this again. Sand. Take the sand. Put it in the flask. You add a handful of sand. Alright. So. Take the dirt. Put that you in the flask. A of fertile soil to the flask. All right, and then I use the you flask. Take the flask's contents until they are thoroughly mixed. All right, and then you shouldn't try making up your own. Shut up! You mock me. Stop mocking me. I don't appreciate the mockery. Okay. Okay, so yes, I have to use the wand on it. So, again, this time without getting myself murdered, please. You add a handful of sand to the flask. Okay. And then the dirt. You add a handful of fertile soil to the flask. Okay. And then I use you it. Shake the flask's contents until they are thoroughly mixed. Okay. And then I grab this and use it you on this. Wave the magic wand over the flask. Cool. All right, so then I recite the spell. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Enhancing Musical Talent incantation. Earth bearing fruit from one's toiling hands, with patience of timeless, swift sifting sands, swirl through endurance soaked salty with seas, permit me to please all musically. You feel the contents of the flask stir slightly as you finish the incantation. Nice! Okay, that's another one done. Save. Because I gotta be very cautious about what I'm doing here. Alright, so next spell I should be working on is understanding the language of animals. That should be right. This is the first page. Right here, okay. Thimble full of dew into a bowl. So I have the thimble right here. Put that in the bowl. You add the thimble full of dew to the bowl. Okay. Now. Where's the dog fur? A small That's the cat fur. I need the dog fur. I know I collected dog fur. Ah, here we go. Dog fur. 
in the bowl. You add the dog fur to the bowl. All right. Now I gotta add the fish scales. Which one was the fish scales? Within the glass container, you see your ground scales. The powder emits a faint fishy smell. It's that one. Okay. So. You measure one spoonful of ground fish scales and add it to the bowl. Okay. Next. Where is my snake skin that I collected from the desert? Here. You add the snake skin to the bowl. Yeah. Okay. Now I had a chicken feather. Where's my chicken feather? The eagle's. Nope, that's an eagle feather. I don't want the eagle feather. I want the chicken feather. You add the chicken feather to the bowl. And now I gotta use the bowl. You mix the bowl's contents by hand until they become doughy. All right. So now I should have to recite the spell. With trepidation, you prepare to recite the Understanding the Language of Creatures incantation. Fur of beast and reptile skin, with scale and feather too thrown in, grant me sense to comprehend animals of water, earth, and wind. All right, so then, wand. You wave the magic wand over the bowl. Okay, and then I divide the mixture up, right? You carefully divide the mixture into two pieces and place the dough pieces in your ears. You will now be able to understand the speech of the animals, birds, and fish. You will not, however, be able to speak to them. The spell will last as long as the dough is in your ears. Okay, cool. Let's save that as well. So, is there anything else I can do? No. Okay, so next I can just go back up the stairs. And we should close up everything. All right, so let's close this up. You quickly. Good, close. I'm waiting. Come on. There you go. All right. Now I put the wand back. You carefully replace the magic wand exactly as you found it. Whew. Okay. So, close that up. The cabinet door locks as you shut it. Whew. Let's get the hell out of here. Always on edge. All right, let's get out of here then. I think we're gonna be okay for a while. A shame what happened to old Roger. <laughs> Charming old rooster. Oh, he's quite a fox now. Okay. Oh, I'll say, <laughs> especially after the wizard got through with him. <laughs> It comes up to visit after hours. I'm terribly confused, poor thing. Can't decide whether to mate or to eat us. Well, all you guys are busy doing that. You pull out your magic map. I'm going to head to town. Pulling sensation. Okay. So, while that's going on, I'm just going to go over here really quick. And I'm going to go into this tavern. So, which one do I have again? That's the... The little vial of magic essence has a delicate, sweet aroma. Okay. Alright, so let's go in here. What am I doing in here? Exactly. Ah, okay. Wench, come over here, more ale. You overhear snatches of the two bandits' conversation. Snatches, that's quite a title. Formed just like a pig. And that rope you rigged inside that big oak tree works great. Now nobody here will find our hideout. Why? 
Bet even that wizard, eh? Interesting. So ends my fun. My flight's now done. Your spell is wearing off. Well, that was interesting. So that's kind of an interesting little tidbit that we could use on our thing. Because we actually do have options to run into bandits along the way. And if they do steal your stuff, you gotta go get it. So. Let's save after that. And now we gotta get out of here. These oh. two are certainly unsavory rogues. They look like... They'll rob me blind. Yep, I gotta get out of here. Go, 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 bandits. I don't want my stuff stolen, thank you very much. Alright, let's make our way back down here towards the bear cottage. Mama Bear's still doing that, so... Alright, so we should just go up and north. Alright, this should be where the little trick is that they just told us. You feel around inside the hollow tree and discover a rope stretching up into the tree. You pull it and, to your amazement, a rope ladder falls from the branches above. Mm-hmm. Okay. Your attempts to relocate the local flora are unsuccessful. That wasn't... They're of no... I was trying to climb up the rope, stupid. But, you know, keep arguing. Okay. You've reached the porch of a shack built in the branches of the oak tree. You'd better be careful. Whoever dwells beyond that doorway may not take kindly to unexpected visitors. That's a hint. Okay. In that case... Let's fly in here. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, what am I gonna do here? Cause... So ends my fun. My flight's now done. Your spell is wearing off. Perhaps you shouldn't just barge in. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. So, that didn't work. Because this thing is not telling me everything. Aha! Good, he you is asleep the now. House. A sleeping bandit slumps face down on the table, occasionally stirring. Take care not to get too close, or you might wake him. Okay, so that was what I had to wait for him to fall asleep. Alright. So ends my fun. My flight's now done. Your spell is wearing off. Okay, so while he's unconscious, grab that. You very carefully lift the coin purse off the table, practically from under the sleeping bandit's nose. Cool. All right, time to leave. But out the door, out the door. Okay. Cool. I got me some money now, at least. All right, so let me just save really quickly in another spot for safety. I would be his spastic saver, I know. I know. You pull out. So that way I don't have to go too far. You feel a strange pulling sensation. Cool. Now, I should, emphasis on should, be able to buy some stuff now from this guy. Good day to you, young man. What can I do for you? Hey, I got some stuff to buy. 
the storekeeper wouldn't like you jumping on the counter. Okay. Tis better to purchase than to purloin. All right. Well, let me hand you my coins then. The purse contains some gold coins. Thirty-five in total. Okay. I'd like to purchase something. Certainly. Take a look at the items on the shelf behind me. All right. Let's see. We got you salt. You count out four coins and give them to the shopkeeper. We got a pouch. You count out ten coins and give them to the shopkeeper. Got some lard. You count out eight coins and give them to the shopkeeper. And fish oil. You count out five coins and give them to the shopkeeper. And I think that's all I can do, so there we go. In that case, we're out of here. Oh, crud. I don't have much time. I better get back. You pull out your magic map. You feel a... Okay, that's nice. Time to book it. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it. Oop. I got delayed way too long. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Go, 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 Gwydion. Well, Alexander, but go. Faster, faster, faster. Hide. All. Okay. And then we'll take out uh, the stuff that isn't bad for me, which is basically not much. That's about it. I think. Okay, yes. Cool. Alright, let's sleep. And wait out. Okay, I didn't have to wait too long. He's back already. I am hungry. Prepare me a meal at once. Sure. I can do that. I'm gonna have to go pick up another bag of- another bowl of porridge later, but... <sighs> I'd rather not get myself killed, thank you very much. At least it's not like in the other game where it's a lot less light. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You'd better feed him quickly, or dire consequences may result. Yeah, that's a nice way of putting it. But yeah, at least unlike in the original one, I have way more time to worry about this. I could just quickly grab another porridge from the three bears and give it to him as time goes on. That's at least a plus. I don't have to worry too much about that. That's a plus. This is definitely a lot more lenient than the original King's Quest 3. Still, leaves you on edge. Alright. In that case, we rest some more. I am going to lie down for a rest. Do not disturb me. Okay. That's fine. I will not. I don't think I have to worry about making any spells at this current point in time, but I should end up going back to the three bears and getting another porridge just in case, because I am going to need that eventually. Mm -hmm.